Many high schoolers have a common fear of the SAT or ACT test. The numbers scored could end up determining if they get accepted into the college that they've been dreaming of. However, more colleges and universities are taking a new approach to the admissions process. News 10's Melissa Crash explains in tonight's Education Watch 10. Pencils down, students. More than 850 colleges and universities across the country no longer require the SAT or ACT. They're tests that challenge students in critical reading, mathematics, and writing. I think our kids are really, really prepared for these types of tests. Um, at the same time, we want colleges to get a more well-rounded experience of what our kids have done. Advocates of making tests optional say it will help schools become more diverse. Those against the change argue it levels the playing field and gives a measure for scholarships. Northview High School principal Chris Mock understands both sides. They're going to look at their AP classes, their dual credit classes, their overall GPA, and, and they're going to get a, an overall sense of how our kids have done. Research shows the number of applications went up at schools who dropped test requirements. Or the SAT as a one piece of the puzzle. I think that gives schools a more accurate assessment of what our kids can do. According to the National Center for Fair and Open Testing, more than two dozen schools have dropped the test requirement since 2014. Mock says it's no secret the tests give students anxiety. And you certainly don't want them to be judged by one bad afternoon or one bad morning. The U.S. has more than 3,000 four-year colleges, many of which still require test scores, giving students the option of what they want to do to continue their education. I mean, it's an opportunity for them to show what they know. In Brazil with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Melissa Crash, News 10. For a full list of colleges that decided to drop standardized tests, we put a link on our website, WTHITV.com.